Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to uh, my channel. Um, here I talk about my Harley Davidson motorcycle upgrades and ride outs and different events that, that I attend. Uh, one of the jobs I'm going to do tonight is fit a driver's backrest. I've already got one for the pillion passenger, um, but I thought uh, I'd have a rest for myself just to um, support my back whilst I'm out on long rides. I have a I have done a search um, in the UK and I can't find anybody that uh, manufactures and produces one to buy that off from eBay. I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested. Uh, I had it shipped over. It was about £83 altogether. That includes the uh, backrest and postage and also um, customs charge as well coming into the UK. I think it was about $69 and start off price, but uh, yeah, it comes to about £83 altogether. So uh, let's get into the video and uh, let's uh, see how it um, fits on. So this is the uh, the backrest. Um, we'll uh, unbox it and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the backrest itself. This particular model has got a pocket um, that drops in on the uh, side here. You can see a, a close up of, of that. Um, it's not the version with the uh, with the studs around the outside here. Um, the dual version with the studs. I decided not to go for that because the backrest on the passenger um, seat doesn't have the studs. Um, yes, they are uh, around the driver's seat, uh, around the actual the, the seats themselves, and also around the luggage. But I kind of wanted to separate this because the actual bike itself, or the seats themselves, um, the backrests are different to the actual seats, and I kind of wanted to flow with that as opposed to um, flowing with the rest of the seat. Um, but this particular model, I say, it's got a little pocket in there. They do a pocket with or seat with or without the pocket. It's only a few dollars difference in the two prices. Um, but yeah, it seems it seems quite nice. The padding is is quite uh, quite firm and quite strong. Um, metal um, fitments um, that uh, clamp on, so it uh, looks like it's going to uh, fit nice and uh, nice and neatly. So let's um, let's get it put on the bike. Okay, so fitting the seat onto the bike is uh, pretty straightforward. Um, first thing we need to do is to remove the passenger seat. Um, once we've taken the passenger seat off, then it just clamps onto the two uh, clamp holdings there. To take the passenger seat off, we need to take the rack off. So uh, let's just pull that up. I love that to them click and uh, and connect fitting that they've got on the uh, on the new bikes now. It's um, so easy just to take that sissy bar off. Um, removing the back seat off is a double as well. There's just a small screw at the back here. And once we take that off, we can just slide the seat off out of the way. And then you expose the two brackets there for, for the actual seat rests themselves. We just take one of those off. Leaving one connected, and the reason I've done that is because last time I took the seats off the bracket started to fall through the back of the mudguard itself so it enables the bracket to stay in place just while it's, uh, while it's connected on and that makes life a little bit easier okay, there's a little bit of adjustment um, on here and you can move it left and right and backwards and forwards as well Just uh, get a close up of that. Okay, so that's fitted onto uh, onto there now by these two uh, these two screws here. So that's in in place and that feels a bit sturdy. Let's clamp those in. That feels better. And then simply just a case of sliding the back seat back in place. Now 
line that up at the back and then just put the, uh, the rear bolt back in. Okay, that's that done. And then we'll, so we'll put the uh, we'll put the back scissor bar back in again. And again, this is a, a simple uh, fitment. There's two plastic lugs at the front that you guide it into. And then two at the back, and then just a case of pulling it down till it locks into place. There we go, and that's the seat on, which is uh, simple enough to do. Now, obviously, some of you may think that they, it doesn't look very nice. It's uh, if you don't like it, then you can just simply take it off and drop it into your box and out of the way. Um, so that tucks away, so now you know it's there. And when you want to go out on the ride, take it out, just slide it into the brackets there, and it gives you a little bit of a little bit more rest here. Okay, so we on the bike then. It's, it's nice on the lumbar part of your, of your back there, and it uh, yeah, makes it a little bit more, a bit more comfortable. And when you're pulling away, you're not moving about and bouncing towards the pillion. And also, the pillion's got something to hold on to the back here as well, with this little, uh, little luggage um, strap there. Uh, yeah, it feels quite, uh, quite nice and quite comfortable. Okay guys, so uh, thanks for watching. We've got the driver's backrest fitted on there now and if it's something that you would like to have on your bike then uh, I'll put a, uh, a description in the comments below and a link uh, in there where you can, uh, you can purchase one yourself. Um, so that's it for me tonight. So uh, if you like the video then uh, please give it a, a thumbs up and if you want to see more then uh, hit the subscribe button. Okay, thanks for watching. Good night.